Greetings, 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 my viewers and subscribers. Welcome back, welcome back to the channel. A blessed day to you all, my peeps. Big up on yourself. All right, so the latest to give his opinion on the West Indies coaching situation is the former West Indies pace bowler, Darren Powell. And according to him, CWI should seriously consider giving back the job to Richard Pybus. Right? Remember, he was sacked four years ago. So we'll talk about that. Plus, we see where Shivnar and Shandopal did an interview and he was talking about the Under-19 Women's World Cup that is coming up in South Africa. And he is ready say that his team is ready so we're going to talk about that a little bit also just subscribe if you're not subscribed yet zane all right so richard pibos my peeps he was sacked four years ago by cwi and you could say that he was under controversial circumstances right the new administration um they were just taking over ricky skerritt as the president and dr shallow as the vice president they were just taking over and they decided that they wanted to appoint their own people you understand they wanted to um appoint someone else and you know this man was sacked richard pibus was sacked four years ago i don't know how many of you guys will probably um remember the whole situation you know it was actually an unpopular decision because quite a few stakeholders fans and even senior players they weren't too happy with the move because you know they were saying it was it's actually going to break up the flow of what was happening because the team wasn't it's not like we we're dominating but we we're putting up a good fight i think at the point at that time we 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 just drew a series a test series a odi series um uh, against England. I think we, we, we won the test series. If I'm, yeah, man, we won the test series against England and we drew the ODI series 2-2. Two -two. You understand? Um, we tied that series 2-2. Two -two. So quite a few people weren't too happy about that because they were thinking that, you know, this man was the right man and he was building towards the future. Darren Powell is apparently one of those guys because he was on the Mason and Guest show recently and he was going all out for Richard Pybus and he was basically saying that Ricky Skerritt and the other guys need to apologize and need to get back the, get this man back in the job you understand um he's saying that this is a big opportunity to fix a mistake that was made so according to Darren Powell it was a mistake to sack Richard Pybos back then so this is a, a a chance to fix it you understand um I'm not too sure if, if he's going to if they offer him if he's going to take it because based on what we are hearing he's been shortlisted as one of of, of, of the possible um, person to take over uh, the South Africa cricket team you know South Africa they are they are looking to get a, a, a new head coach and he's on that short list based on what I'm hearing you understand let me give you exactly what um, Darren Powell is saying he's saying and I quote why can't we go back to him he was doing a good job he went on to say that I would be willing he said, I would be willing to cut off my nose and spice my and to cut off my nose to spite my face. Um, and what he's saying is that um, it, it, if it was him, he would definitely be willing to apologize to the man based on how they let him go, based on how they terminated his contract back then, and you know, so that he can he can um he can come back into the role. You understand? So I don't know. I don't know my viewers and subscribers. Um, I don't know if this man would be willing to take on back the job based on how things ended. As I am saying, it didn't end too well. So, you know, um, it's just an, it's just a name. You know, Darren Powell is the only person that we see throwing this out there. Um, we don't know if this man would have re reapplied uh, for the job. We don't know if the CWI people reached out to him. We don't know anything what's going on. It's just Darren Powell that was on the Mason and Guest program was talking and he was saying that, you know, Richard Pybus, they should take this opportunity to reappoint him because he's definitely the man. I think when Ricky Skerritt and um, Dr. Shallow took over um, four years ago, I think it was, they were saying that they wanted to um, give the big job, give opportunity to people um, with Caribbean origin 
and you know Phil Simmons they probably had had that lineup and everything already you know so Phil Simmons with Caribbean origin and all of that was able to get the job so you know we go we go and keep a close eye on this thing to see how it develop I personally I, I, I don't know if I would want to go back there you know I mean if he has a good plan and and and, and all of that then probably but I I would want to go back there you guys already know um, you guys are listening to the channel often already know exactly who, who, the, who I want to get the job So I won't even go back down there You understand? He's saying that the man um, um, You know, he's saying that Darren Paul was saying that One way to know that you are actually a man Is to, ap is to accept that you are wrong Apologize and move on And that he's saying What he's saying is that Ricky Skirt and the team They were wrong for um, terminating his contract So they should accept that Apologize Offer the man the job and see if we can move on because he's, um, he's, he's, he has the ability based on what they are saying. Now, Pybus was also, just to give you a little background, was a director of West Indies High Performance run about in 2018. And he was also a director of cricket um, from 2013 to 2016. So he has an idea of what is going on with our cricket. So, you know, I'm just throwing this out there. I don't know if anybody else is thinking about it or Darren Powell is the only one that has this on his mind. So I'm leaving it right there. The comment section is open. You guys can go ahead in the comment section and let me know about, um, know, know what you think about that. All right. Uh, next thing, Shiv Narayan Shandopal, who has also been touted to get this job. He is actually, um, he's actually over there in South Africa with his US under 19 women's team. And he's saying that the team is ready. You know, he's saying that it's a pleasure to be there with the team. It's a pleasure to take part in such a prestigious, um, prestigious competition. And the team is excited and they are looking forward to doing well. Um, once this tournament is finished, then probably we will get our answer as to whether or not Shivnar and Shandopal is going to um, be coaching West Indies team. We don't know. You know, um, even before he announced that he was going to step down from this um, job after the World Cup, I was saying that, you know, it's a possibility that once he's finished with the Under-19 World Cup, then he will probably take up the role. It's not that I know anything. I don't know nothing. I was just probably, I, I was just assuming, but... Because here go talking about South Africa, I think the under 19 West Indies women, they are slated to play a warm up game um, also today. You know, so definitely once that game is finished, I will be bringing that to you. Going to give you some information so you can just stay tuned to the channel and you don't know later on, I'll give you some more information as it relates to what is going on. All right, my peeps, big up on yourself, enjoy the rest of the day and uh stay safe also some big news before we go coming out of football garrett bale my peeps garrett bale has announced his retirement from international and from club football you understand so why i tell you i tell you later on we'll talk some more about it though my peeps because when i am um, recording this the news just came out big up on yourself